Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We've got our first look at Ben Grimm's The Thing, Ebon Moss Backrack, for Fantastic Four First Steps. Now, before I show you, it's really important to note the majority of the tweets about this, or at least the bigger sort of outlets that are tweeting about this, have had their tweets taken down. Now, I don't know whether they were asked to by Marvel, or they were forced to take it down by Marvel with copyright claims. So I'm just pausing just to let you know about that because this video may get taken down. So we'll scroll down and we'll take a look. Um, it's it's not horrendous. It's not great either. So, oh shit, I think Ebon is actually in there or someone is. So here it is. Just... Yeah, there you go. I mean, it's just a gigantic suit. And that's the face. Big old lump. Very, very big lump. Which he's supposed to be. You know, the thing is supposed to be really, really strong. And really, really big. Now, a lot of people are really happy about this. Because they're like, oh my god, wow, you know, it's entirely practical. Which they even say here on this article. Just because it is practical doesn't mean it will remain practical. This won't remain practical. It's just not going to happen. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm fairly certain someone is in here. There is slight movement. Yeah, there you go. There's some movement there. So I think someone is in here. So it's not really like a stand-in. Um, this, uh, could it be Ebon? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Um this will, you know, it's comic accurate. Like, it's, it is actually quite a good comic accurate image, right? Like, it looks pretty decent. But I will say this. Look, don't don't think it's going to remain practical. There, There is no way this will remain like this. They've got to animate his face somehow. Um, you know, Marvel... Because lots of people in the comments to all of this are praising Marvel for going fully practical. Again, like I said, even this article, they're like, oh, wow... He's entirely practical, not VFX. Marvel has done practical. They've done a blend of practical and CG and entirely CG. So, yeah, it's surprising that people are jumping on this as if this is a new thing for Marvel. They've done this quite a few times, to be fair. Um, it says here, this being a stand-in perhaps makes the most sense. They're a practical thing whose face... For example, his enhanced with VFX could suit the Marvel Studios reboot uh, 1960s aesthetic. The reason why... I don't know whether this is a stand-in simply because it does actually look like someone's in there. Um, but I, I guess the other main thing is just this is the design, right? This is the design that we're getting. And it is. It's very comic accurate. Kudos to Marvel for doing this. I don't know how much hype this has behind it this Marvel film. But I will say it does look like, right? It does look like Marvel is trying to get back to their roots uh, and generate a lot of the hype that they had previously once had. You know, I, I, I could try and show you a lot of this stuff on uh, Twitter, but a lot of it's just been taken down. So the general response is, is good. You know, people like it. You know, we'll just look through some of this. This leaker will be found and come up missing. Yeah. But a lot of the stuff is leaked from the set of Fantastic Four anyway. We're getting an actual suit. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yes, he's practical. Yeah, he won't be though. He, he won't fully be. He can't fully be. It's, uh, it's an impossibility really. Doesn't anyone just want to be surprised at a movie anymore? Get off Twitter then. Uh, you know what? I, I, the thing about comments like this, and oh, thanks for spoiling. We know what the thing looks like. You know, is it a spoiler to have the thing revealed? Is it? Is, it, is that really a spoiler? We know what the thing looks like, for God's sake. How is that a spoiler? People, oh, outrageous. So the, the response, people 
Yeah, people like it. People like it. And I really like Ebon uh, as well. He, he's, a, he's a good actor. You know, it says here, still, it's worth remembering what Moss Bacharach said earlier this year. In the past, I think they've done a suit. Michael Chiklis wore a suit that apparently was really uncomfortable. And it's kind of, we're past that. It's a little kind of cosplay, kind of amateur, that kind of stuff now with the technology we have. I'm playing Ben Grimm, who becomes the thing, who is a man encased in rock. I've just been looking at rocks. What am I doing? I don't know. I've been reading a lot of comics. It's kind of nice. They gave me this kind of Marvel Unlimited thing, so I can just go on my iPad and to any comic book that Marvel ever released. That feels kind of cool. So, I mean, was this him covering his tracks? Is this them covering their tracks? Is it a stand-in? Again, we'll watch this one more time. Yeah, that is a hand. Right there is a hand. So there is someone in there. But is it a fully practical suit? Probably not. I don't know, you know. It's tricky. It's a tricky one. But I mean, that's definitely a hand, so there is someone in there. You know, cue the internet sleuths zooming in to, like, the skin complexion of Ebon's hand to see if it is actually him. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> anyway look I think this is fine we'll have to wait and see what this movie's like because remember this was delayed an awful awful lot um, there was a lot of issues with this film a hell of a lot of issues with this film and you know at the end of the day you don't have a lot of issues with the film which is uh, arguably should be quite simplistic to make unless there's something bad going on behind the scenes. So I'd like this to be good. I think it would be good if it is good, obviously. So I'll we'll have to wait and see. Um, but there you go. I'd love you to leave your thoughts down below. That'd be great. If you're new here, give the video uh, a like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you want to support the channel further, please do check out my Patreon, which is linked down below. Because videos such as this will either get removed entirely or demonetized. So it'd be really good if you could help out the channel with Patreon. Again, first link down below. Cheers, take care. Bye-bye now.